it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. All cells carry out many different chemical reactions, building up molecules or breaking them down. These reactions are called cell metabolism. So we've got some key definitions here to start us off in our revision of cell metabolism. First up, we have metabolism. This is the sum of all the chemical reactions that occur within a cell or an organism. Now that one I would learn off by heart. There are two different types of metabolic reactions, catabolic and anabolic. It's very important to be able to differentiate between them and to give examples of each type. So first off, we'll take a look at catabolic reactions. These break down complex molecules into simpler forms with the release of energy. For example, the enzymes that control respiration are catabolic, or amylase is a catabolic reaction. Amylase is a catabolic enzyme, which breaks down starch to maltose. The second type are anabolic reactions. Now these convert simpler molecules into more complex ones and energy is taken in. For example, the enzymes that control photosynthesis are anabolic. Another example is DNA pomylarase. This is an anabolic enzyme that helps repair damaged DNA. So an easy way that I would use in my own classroom back at school is the acronym P-A-R-C. So photosynthesis is an example of an anabolic reaction and respiration is an example of a catabolic reaction. Another important question here is what's the overall role of enzymes in metabolism? Enzymes play a crucial role in metabolism for the following reasons. All of these chemical reactions are responsible for our cells' activities. Without these chemical reactions, the cell cannot function. Controlling these reactions is essential, and that's the role of enzymes. They play a crucial role in controlling chemical reactions. So we're just going to take a quick look at an example of an exam paper question here. So this is one I like to refer to as metabolism in disguise. What you had to watch here was that a larger molecule A is broken down to give smaller molecules B, C and D. And the question asked, is this an example of anabolism or catabolism? And the answer was catabolism because a larger molecule is broken down to give smaller ones. 